right then, let's go put a mouth in a bear. Watch you bite my fucking fingers off or some bullshit. I got my witch's hat on and I'm rolling like a pimp. Suck my fucking dick. I want my kitty cat back, I want my kitty 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 cat back. Imagine it's going on him, I thought he had a missing nose to be honest. Or a mouth. <laughs> That's fucking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> That's your fucking mate, though. <laughs> what are you then? Let's go to the mirror room. <laughs> I've got to see it again. You got a guy. <laughs> Blank guy. Like him from Resident Evil 2 is a teddy bear onesie. <laughs> and then you got a fucking <laughs> just guy. The guy <laughs> Fuck me. That's by me really happy. Oh, I'm so happy. To the mirror, back to serious reality. Wow, some fucked up reality. Let's go this way. And let's go. Oh, oh you bitch. <laughs> this isn't the way, is it? I've just walked past that fucking prick. And no need. Whoa! Uh, hi, guys. Don't listen to liars. There are rare treasures inside. I'm gonna fart. Oh, lovely. Opened it with the cheese. Can I have my kitty cat back, please? I want my kitty cat. Have I might just gotta randomly press. In space means it said like rare treasures inside. I wish you could turn on the spotlight to face, you know, press right, then left. You should just turn around on the spot. <gasps> Isn't that easy? The fox said. If you were the only one left. If you were the only one left, without him, I could become a real boy. The bunny doll had been tied to the chair with rope. Oh, I got the dolly back. Yay. I got a silver key. Yay. Is that the piano room? With music notes on the handle. Got my treasures. See ya. Oh. I don't say the fucking pigs are back. Ah. That patch of grey blue was walking towards her. Elizabeth felt hostility. We didn't want to get into a fight. So she hid the doll behind her and wanted to say hello first. But the person seemed a bit strange. No oh, shit. What are you doing? The melancholic aura crept closer. What are you doing? Oh. Seems to shear child the ground, cutting open the carpet in air. That's the only thing you can't take. What are you doing? What have you taken? Where are you going? The voice asked lowly each sentence accompanied with the smell of rust. 
He stepped trace blood, red footprints. Oh, do you reckon that was the pitter patter when I clicked the shoes and do, 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 and the red blood footprints? You promise me, those people promise me, promise to never throw me away. The shrill voice came increasingly closer, finally stopping in front of Elizabeth. Ah! And my head goes, oh shit, it's Scissor Man! It's fucking Scissor Man! Shit! Shit! Oh shit, son! Fuck! Get out! Ah, it's still coming! Scissor Man! Scissor Man's got me! Fuck! Fuck! Oh! Fuck! Fucking Scissor Man! Get to that piano room! No! Shit! Yourself, Edward. Only fans of Clock Tower would get that. She ran towards the direction of the road. She ran and ran and ran up countless flights of stairs. Ah, oh, fell over. Must stand up, but she couldn't. The shears trailed on the floor. If only you weren't here. A strange feeling accompanied this sentence. But she couldn't recall further. If only you weren't here. If only you weren't here. If only you weren't here. The sentence kept repeating shrilly. Elizabeth backed up against the way, started to tremble underneath the sharp gaze, and left. So she started to think. If only you were the one left. If only you weren't here. If only you weren't here. If only you weren't here. She pushed him down the stairs. Oh, pushes the man down the stairs. Oh, maybe she killed the brother. I reckon that's what's happened. And it's repeating it. She's in her own torment. I've got purple hair. I'm that demon. That demon's an older version of me. Maybe. Eh? Shouldn't I come running at me with fucking scissors, man? Being a bitch gets you nowhere in life, man. You gotta let go of shit. Hey, these stairs had gaps in them when... Get them scissors! Chop his fucking head off! Grey blue coat, he's gone! <gasps> there was only a piece of wood left now. But it was still a piece of wood. The Adventure of Pinocchio. The End. at the end. I thought that was going to actually, actually be the end for me as well. Elizabeth had discovered something. She had discovered something. There was a layer of dust over the mirror and a demon's face reflected out of the corner. Ah, oh, that was close. It almost stabbed you. No. She looked at the dusty mirror and thought, no. She was asleep to forcibly wipe at the mirror. The demon reached out to stop her, but she was flung its hand away and cleared up a patch that could fit her own reflection. Weird. What's wrong? Weird. What is there to be weird? The demon's left a wavered. She looked at the mirror. And the many things that she couldn't seem to recall suddenly floated into her mind. Her mind started clamouring at the floor beneath her. Feet started swaying. It was like a bit of the different the bit you bit of a It was like a bit of the dizziness that occurred before waking up. Why? She calmed herself with monumental effort and asked in quavering voice. Why? Why do you call me Elizabeth? She had noticed. 
What? What silliness are you sprouting? You must be tired. A sickly sweet voice said next to her ear, but she was unable to remain calm now. She looked at her hands and realised that she started clutching the red crown at some unknown time. It gave her a fright and she quickly threw it away. But the red remaining on her hands wouldn't go away, no matter how much she dusted off her hands. She couldn't even wipe her hands clean of her dress, even if... What's the matter, Elizabeth? She said, don't call me that. But you're Elizabeth. I'm not. Calm down, Elizabeth. I'm not. Wake up. Leave in dreams what shouldn't be brought to reality. Wake up. Leave her dreams back in the dreams. Final chapter. She had discovered it. What the fuck are you? There was a crying shadow blocked by the door. Something could be given to her to help her to pass. You want some scissors? See you.